find the equation of the plane tangent to the surface at the given point. So our goal here is to find the equation of the tangent plane. So let's quickly recall that the tangent plane for an implicitly defined surface is defined by the position vector p naught p dotted with the gradient vector at that point p naught equals zero. So this is what we're going to need to do to find the tangent plane for this given surface. So we have our point p naught, but we don't have the gradient vector. So that's what we need to do first. We need to find the gradient vector at the point p naught, which here is 2, 2, 2. So to find the gradient, we need the partial derivatives. So we have the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. Now, as always, because we're differentiating with respect to x, we'll keep in mind we treat y and z like constants. So we're left here with 3y plus 2z. So the partial derivative of the surface with respect to y, and because we're differentiating with respect to y, we will treat x and z like constants. So here we're left with 3x plus 5z. And last but not least, we want to find the partial derivative for the surface with respect to z. And now because we're differentiating with respect to z, we'll treat x and y like constants. So this leaves us with 5y plus 2x. So we now want to take these partial derivatives and evaluate them at the given point. So we have the partial derivative of the function with respect to x at the point 2, 2, 2 is equal to, we have 3 times 2 plus 2 times 2. So 6 plus 4 leaves us with 10. We have the partial derivative of the surface with respect to y evaluated at 2, 2, 2. So here we have 3 times 2 plus 5 times 2. So 6, time, or 6 plus 10 leaves us with 16. And last but not least, we have the partial derivative of the surface with respect to z at the point 2, 2, 2. Leaves us with 5 times 2 plus 2 times 2. So 10 plus 4 gives us 14. So therefore, the gradient vector, the vector that is normal to this surface at the point 2, 2, 2, is the vector defined by the components 10, 16, 14. Now, notice here that this vector has a scalar multiple of 2. So we can pull that common factor out. So we have 2 multiplied by the vector 5, 8, 7. Now, keep in mind here that since scalar multiples are parallel vectors, we can use, instead of using the full gradient here, we can let the normal vector be the smaller portion because it's still parallel to the gradient vector. So we'll define our normal vector here, which is parallel to the gradient vector as 5, 8, 7. Now this is optional. If you use the vector 10, 16, 14, we'll still get the same answer, but your numbers in the computation to follow will be a little bit larger. So we always like smaller numbers. So we're ready to go. We're ready to find the tangent plane. So to find the tangent plane, we are going to take the dot product of the position vector with our normal vector. So we have x minus 2, y minus 2, z minus 2, our position vector at the point p naught, and we're dotting this with the normal vector, 5, 8, 7, is equal to 0. And by the dot product, this gives us 5 multiplied by x minus 2, plus 8 multiplied by y minus 2, plus 7 multiplied by z minus 2, is equal to 0. And of course, we need to simplify. We want to distribute each one of these constants, our coefficients here, through to each term, and then we'll group up our like terms. 
So we have 5x minus 10 plus 8y minus 16 plus 7z minus 14 is equal to 0. And notice here we have three like terms. We have negative 10 minus 16, negative 14. So this is 5x plus 8y plus 7z minus 40 is equal to 0. And there's nothing wrong with this answer. This is perfect. Or you could bring the constant to the right-hand side and write your answer as 5x plus 8y plus 7z is equal to 40. Either way, you are correct. And this is our beautiful final answer for the equation of the tangent plane to the implicitly defined surface at the point 222.